So we see spontaneity actually is one of the big things. And when we become attached to our desire, it tightens up and you lose that sense of spontaneity. You see. There's a story about you know there was once in the jungle, no? The insects got together and decided to have a party. <laughs> it was an insect rave <laughs> in the jungle. So all the insects came together and you know they, everybody came for the night and the bees, the bees they were vroom, 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 vroom. Ah, 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 so all the insects are dancing, and all the all the what you call them, the the fireflies, they were. So everybody's happy dancing. So then the centipede, the centipede got really carried away. It was like, oh, that's my groove. So he just started to dance. Like, oh, like that. Can you imagine centipede 100 legs? <laughs> so every time he moves, you know, a like 100 legs go. <laughs> so when he stepped out, you know, everybody went, whoa. <laughs> Look at how centipede moved, you know. It was like 100 Michael Jacksons. <laughs> so anyhow, like this. All the insects, wow, wow, wow. Anyway, it was a great success. After, because he was dancing with his eyes closed, opening, everybody's clapping, all the insects, ah, clapping. Ah. So, yeah, a great party. So now Centipede is going home in the night and he's walking with one, one bug, was walking with him as a friend, you know, like this, and everybody's clapping and everything. So, the bug says, Centipede, I didn't know you were such a you're an amazing mover. We've never seen anything like this in the jungle. I mean, you are amazing. The centipede starts to feel proud. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. He says, Yeah, how do you do that move? How do you do those moves? Well, of course he didn't know how he did it. He was just happy, enjoying. He wasn't looking, you know, leg 17 move to the right or something. No. He just uh-huh, and all the legs moved. And, uh, so, so buggy, uh, buggy asked him, like, you know, centipede, how did you do that move? How did you teach me that move? And so pride entered centipede's heart. He says, listen, what I did was, you see, like when I move like this, I put my leg like that, and I put this leg like this, and I did like that. And so he got all tangled up in his own legs, fell on his back, all kind of like rolling around. And Buggy says, Centipede, you are amazing. You are a comedian as well. Oh my God. And he was kind of, he was all locked up and everything. And I said, wow, wow, that's amazing. You could have done that on the floor. We'd have just been crazy. So everything he tried to show how to do became a complete mess. But Buggy just kept thinking, wow, this guy is fully talented. He does all these crazy things. He doesn't mind make, making himself look like a fool even. It's amazing. Centipede, by the, by the way, was completely ruffled up and completely embarrassed, but didn't even want to show that. He was pretending like even these mistakes were intentional, you see, like that. And this is what happened. When you are free, you don't think about what you have to do. You just move and everything is right. The minute you start to make a technique out of it, everything goes wrong, because it's not life. And in discovering the truth of ourself, you are discovering the spontaneous existence. You see? Of course, now and again, some old patterns may come. They will come because as long as you have a body and the vital force is there, consciousness is there, some activity is going to come out of that. Sometimes old habits will come. But the wisdom is there to, to discern no, no, watch this and so on. So, really, the only thing you have to do is to keep paying attention to what you have discovered and who you are in this discovery. And it takes a bit of time to get used to to looking from this infinite place, which is the simplest and the easiest place to be. Much more easy than being an ego. 
your natural self is the most natural state to be. You are naturally happy. You are not planning to be successful. and Everything is a harmony. And there is no greater wealth than contentment. No greater success than happiness, and joy, and peace. You see, that was my point of telling the story. You know, so life brings us the things that sometimes we think, you know, oh, I've, I've done all these things already. It puts things there that will make you fall over to to break our arrogance. And why? Out of spite? No, out of love. Because you have to give up arrogance. Because arrogance blinds us again, puts you back to sleep. We have already been asleep for so long. Asleep meaning what? Meaning not aware of our true self, not living from the place of truth. So, time to wake up and to enjoy your awakening, not suffer it. Because even the most challenging things that come while you are breaking through or breaking out of the groove of awake of your bondage in a way, even there it is cause for joy, even with the pain, because they are just like birth pains. They are maybe the most terrible things in the life, but when they are over, when the child comes, all the pain of birth pains have gone. Sometimes our awakening is a bit like that. You have to suffer the, the, this transition and the fears that it brings, that you, are, you may be giving up something of value to become nothing. Oh, the mind plays all these things. But trust that something comes to you from life. It is a gift from the life, in the form of an invitation to discover your true nature. And it brought you here. And I cannot see any mistake in that. So, thank you. Thank you, thank you.